So this was a pretty nifty application that I was introduced to at SaintCon during the LAN party on Monday evening. So what it is, is LAN Commander is an application that lets you manage and distribute games for LAN parties. Hence, LAN Commander. It helps makes, rather than having to distribute games using a flash drive or so on, you can set up your own server on your network with different games that people can download and then run. It does work in a lot of ways, like Steam. So if we go to the screenshots here, we look at the redistributables, you can see it's, I've got it pretty well, but we can go over it in a second. The, oh, screen is actually pretty nifty. So really, okay, so yeah, different stuff, different screens and all. Um, you've got different redistributables. I saw Steam redistributables in the SyncCon one. You've got the Visual C++ DirectX and so on, of course. So, nah, doesn't list it. But you've got a lot of options. It is an open source project. So, it's pretty cool. There are a couple things that I noticed with it that were kind of weird and that I kind of lament. So there is a new release since I downloaded it initially. So we're going to have to like, you know, do some things. But you can see it's actually got a wide range of options for, oh, your launcher and your server. ARM64, x86, Mac OS, Windows. It is more built for Windows in that sense. So, yeah. Let's see. Um, it still looks like some of the startup stuff is still not quite in order. So, yeah. Let us go in LAN Commander 0 0.4, unzip it. Okay, so we can go and make, well, we don't need to make it executable, but if we go back to our backups, let's double check that I've got everything in parity with what I'm looking at. Okay, I should be able to run it from here. Oh, wait. I do have... It, it is Linux native. So that is the nice thing about it. Oh, I don't have a server set up. Um, yeah. Anyway, give me a second. Okay. So now that I've got a server up, it will detect servers on the LAN if it is on your network. So I can click here. I can go in here. I can register here. Um, it's going to do some goofy things. I'm going to switch that here. And I'm going to... Pick a totally secure password, register, and it will come up. I have not added any stuff to the library. I'm not quite sure how to do that, but let's see. We will reload, go to our downloads. You can see we've got a good download screen. Go into settings here, and we can see our storage paths, our games, blah, 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 storage path, medium. Enable script debugging. Let me go and look at a couple other things. Okay, so when you log into LAN Commander first on the web interface, it's going to come up like you go to the address it gives you in the server one. And then you can go to games. We can add a game. We can like look up a game we can skip looking up a game 
Overview. Let's see. Let me double check. Redistributables. Games. Import. Okay. Let me go look for that. Okay. We are going to pick on... Oh. No. Wrong tab. Come on. Open that one up. We're going to pick on a very special game called Lethal Company. And we are going to add, not that one. We are going to add main game user count released on ten twenty three twenty twenty three. Really? There. We'll just do that. Publishers. Let's see. And then, let's see, where is it? No data selected. Where's my upload? We will save that one. And then we want to go to overview, games, edit, media, Let's see, archives, upload archive. We will browse to our home games. Where is it? I can read. I don't know what version it is. One. Upload. It's going to go really fast because I'm local. See, save paths. We want add a path. File folder path. Let's see. It was. Where's our. Add a path. Save. And then let's see, keys, scripts. We can add a whole bunch of things to it if we want. Then we save it. We can go back to our games. And then let's... We should be able to run that. <coughs> Should be able to refresh and we can see lethal companies added and we can click install and it will install it. Although the only issue that I've had. So let me. install it will download the game and set it up and then when I click play um, let's see browse files let's see let me double check my actions no actions found actions add action Play. Path is Lethal Company. Add action. Well, okay. Save. Then we need to.
we'll retry everything again. We can go back here, we can play. That's bull. I don't know. Um, all I know is there isn't very good wine support for it in a lot of cases. And that's the only lamentable thing. So you may have to run your own like special actions on a game in order to get it to run. Well, let's see. So when they set it up for SaintCon, me running the system that I am ran into the issue of not being able to play too well because Linux support was somewhat non-existent. It, it runs, but you have to set up your own stuff for it to run. It doesn't automatically hook into Wine, it seems. So you're kind of stuck with that. And so it creates some interesting situations. I will... Definitely look more into setting up a land commander, I think, which should be interesting. Let's see. Let's look at scripts, archives, final steps. Actions. Yeah, that should have done it. Full company. And we refresh. No actions found still. Okay. Anyway. Yeah, Land Commander, it didn't run the games too well. So I had to basically go in, add them to Steam manually myself, and then run it that way so that it would run through Proton or Wine or what have you. But I got, you know, a good list of games from Saint Con that, you know, Quake 3, Unreal Tournament, and so on. Land Commander's a really cool concept. It's just I feel like there is lack of support on certain ends of the application that it says it would be able to support, but doesn't. If you liked the content, if you enjoyed it, if you think I deserve it, like, comment, subscribe, leave any criticisms you have or what have you. I appreciate it. Feed that algorithm, like I said, and I will see you guys in the next one.